What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about coastal scents. I recently reached out to them and asked them if they would send me some stuff to review for you guys that I hadn't tried before and they were gracious enough to do so. So thank you so much coastal scents for sending me this stuff. I really do appreciate the opportunity. So I've been testing this stuff out for probably about a month and a half now, maybe more because I take reviews very seriously. Like I'm very detailed, very thorough. And I try to go the extra mile when something's sent to me because I don't want anyone to accuse me of being dishonest or biased or, you know, trying to rush a video and like not really doing thorough testing. So I do have a few things that they sent me, but I also want to mention something that I have mentioned before on my channel and that I've raved about and I use all the time. I like to make this an entire like coastal sense collective review. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, let's quickly talk about something that I have talked about before on my channel that I use all the time. And within this collection, there are a lot of hits. And there are a lot of misses and the hits are really good and the misses are really bad and that is their hot pot single eyeshadow so normally they are 195 two dollar eyeshadows i mean you cannot beat that but they go on sale all the time for 99 cents so i would wait until there's a sale they usually have those around the holidays so i have a bunch of single shadows in here this is my customized palette this is a make it forever palette um but there is this, these aren't all coastal scents we got some oh just kiss my palette sorry about that but i have a mixture of coastal scents i have some color pop and just just a few things in here but there are a bunch of coastal scents shadows in here and then in this little palette i've got a bunch of the duds so this is actually a coastal scents empty palette which is ten dollars on the website so when i first tried these i ordered like 45 and i did an entire swatch and review of all of them it was it was epic so i will link that video at the end of this one it's very very detailed i'm not going to get too detailed in this one because that one pretty much says it all. But I did like this customizable palette. I mean, for $10, it's a pretty good deal. You can see into it. It's got a clear top. And the magnet's very strong on these. I've never had an issue with the shadows popping out or anything. I feel like they're very secure in there. But this is pretty cheap feeling. At first, it didn't feel like that. But after a little bit of traveling and a little bit of throwing around here and there, it did break. So I've got a little crack right here in the lid, which does suck. But I mean, for $10, like if you're not gonna travel with it, I would say check it out. So the Hot Pots are very hit and miss, but when I first started trying them, what I found was that a lot of them weren't super pigmented. They, they weren't super opaque. They were kind of more buildable and sheer. And I realized that that's a good thing. So I've said numerous times, I would rather work with a shadow that is more buildable than super pigmented right off the bat, because I just feel like it's more foolproof and it's just more safe. So this one right here is one that I use probably on a daily basis. This is Chamois Nude. This is just a matte skin tone color and it's not super pigmented or buttery or super soft when you swatch it. There's what it looks like, but it builds up and it builds up really well. And then this one right here, they changed the name of it. So I don't know what it's called anymore, but I'll have it linked. Like I'll have it listed over here. It was called Flesh Tone, but I think it's called like Nectarine or something like that. It starts with an N. And this is just the most beautiful shimmery champagne color you can use this on the eyes on the face it just looks so beautiful and glowy great formula so most of all the shimmers that i've tried are pretty good so i feel like the strengths lie within the shimmers the mattes are where it gets kind of tricky and you're kind of like it's like a gambling game when you order online because you don't know what's gonna be good what's not gonna be good so let's pull up another one this one's in the shade caramel ice this is a shimmery like warmer champagne color it's just a little bit warmer and more peachy than the other champagne i showed you and it's just so smooth and like the shimmer most of the shimmers are very finely milled and just really smooth and buttery now i will say there are several of them let's just pick up this one right here that i've used quite a bit this was in the shade oatmeal tan as you can see i've i've made an indent in it i don't know if you can see that but this one is like i said earlier just kind of sheer more buildable but it's very very easy to work with like you can't really go overboard with it like it never gets to that point to where you have to diminish intensity this one right here is a shimmer and i feel like this is one of the exceptions to the rule when i say that all the shimmers are good this one is straight up like chunky sparkle like, it actually looks like they're salt but it's a really pretty like hot pink magenta shade it's just not smooth like most of them are very smooth and okay why is that why are they pigmented right now do i have i think i have foundation on my hands left over from earlier but like this the sparkle is so extremely large and in charge that it's just not flattering but yeah for the most part i do recommend the hot pots i feel like they are a lot of bang for your bucks so i would just say beware because you might get a dud so moving on to what they sent me this time so they did send me this revealed matte palette so i have tried several of their revealed palettes and i will go ahead and say that i haven't been too impressed with them they are things that i have decluttered in the past but this one was very intriguing to me because well it's all mattes obviously but there's a very wide assortment of mattes 
and I was hoping that this one would be a better formula. Like maybe they improved it or something. So here's what it looks like. You get 20 shades for about $20. It does go on sale all the time though. So you get a very wide assortment of like ivory, bone, skin tone colored shades. You get some warm tones in there. Like you get some tans and oranges. You get some cool tone colors like some mauves and purples. You got black. Um, just some random like tan shades and just pretty much everything you could use for the crease. These are okay. Like they're, they're pretty dry and normally I wouldn't say that, you know, being dry is a bad problem because sometimes the, the drier it is, the better it works. So there's what a few of them look like. But I just feel like compared to other things in my collection that I have, these just kind of fall short. Like they do swatch out fine and stuff and they do feel pretty smooth and pretty buttery. Like they're not super chunky or anything. But I just feel like they are, the level of sheerness and buildability that I just don't, like I can't get behind. And I know that sounds inconsistent and kind of contradictory of what I just said, but there's just something about this formula that I just don't like and they just aren't super flattering. And also I just feel like there are way too many colors that are too close together. Like all these ivory shades, I just feel like it's very unnecessary. I feel like they could have done something a little bit more pizzazzy than that. Like I feel like they could have done something that kind of stuck out a little bit more. I just feel like these are very dull. They're very basic. You can create pretty much anything with this palette as far as like whether you want to do a warm look, a cool look, a neutral look, but there are just way too many ivory shades and it just kind of, just kind of bores me. So next up are their blushes. So I have six of these. These are $3.95 on the website. They have so many shades to choose from. I mean, there's something for every skin tone. And they also threw in this little customizable palette, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I feel like even though these are easy to break, I still like them. Like I still like the fact that they're transparent, like you can see through them and stuff. But this is kind of the same deal as the Hot Pot Single Eyeshadows. Like they're very, very hit and miss. But overall, I just don't like the formula. So pretty much the only one I like out of this set is Charisma, which is this one right here. This is kind of like a rose gold kind of color. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. Like you can get this to work. It looks really pretty on the skin, but all of these for the most part with the exception of like one and we'll get into that in just a second but they're all very flaky and kind of chunky and just way too pigmented i feel like blush is one of those things that you don't want to be too opaque because you don't want to make it look like you're like working at the circus on the weekends so they're kind of scary um there's this one right here which is called tuberose and this looks like a it's just a shimmery mauve but with the exception of Charisma, these just look very cheap. Like, they look like kids' makeup. Like, this looks like a very immature, kind of sparkly blush. Um, it does swatch out. It does have the same kind of formula as Charisma. It's just the particles in here, like, the, the sparkly, like, glitter particles in here are so chunky. And it does feel smooth when you swatch it out. Like, you can get this to work. But, like, this in particular, this one and another one I'm going to show you, is so hard to work with because it's, it's just way too opaque. The mattes is where I feel like this goes downhill once again for the hot pots. I don't know if this is the same formula. These may be the same formula as the single eyeshadows, but this one right here is matte. This is called Glowing Ember. It's just a really muted, kind of mauve kind of color. It's matte. And I mean, I can't get anything from this. I, once I rub my finger over it like 50 times, I can get something to swatch on it. I mean, there. this one's kind of like the opposite of the spectrum. Like this one's just not pigmented enough. There's not really a happy medium with these. Now this one's matte and it's more pigmented than the other one. This is called Rosebud. And this one's just a tad bit more pigmented, but this one's really, really hard for me to wear. I don't know if I'm just not the right skin tone for this. This may work for deeper skins, but deeper skins, deeper skin tones, but it's just very hard to diffuse out and to get a natural effect with. And then this one looks like straight up kids makeup. This one's so ugly. This is in the shade Afterglow. And it kind of looks like it's trying to be like that NARS orgasm kind of thing. But can you even see that? Did it Did it even focus? Can we focus? It's got a silver undertone and that's just not natural or very wearable for the cheeks in my opinion. So there's what that one looks like. It's just like the silver undertone is very strong. And every time I've worn these, I've had a bad like face makeup day. Like I've had a hard time blending. It looks very clownish. I just don't like these. I've got one more. This is kind of a bronzer. I guess they, they have bronzers too. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. This is called Nutmeg Frost. And I don't know, like this one isn't bad. This one's more smooth actually, but it's a really weird undertone. Like it doesn't look like a bronzer. I can't contort my hand enough, but I don't know. I'm just kind of turned off towards these because they are so hard to work with. So I would say if these go on sale, 
maybe check them out. Like see if there's a shade that you like, look up swatches and stuff. A couple of lip products, and I actually haven't tried any kind of lip product from Coastal Scents before. So they sent me this lip gloss, it's the Lip Tubes Lip Gloss in the shade Rouge. And again, it just kind of looks like kids makeup. Like I feel like they could be doing a little bit better um, this is like, it's actually a really pretty color though. It's a really pretty tone. It's kind of like NARS Orgasm in a lip gloss form, but it's got really thick chunks of sparkly, like a gold sparkle in here. And the formula is extremely sticky. I mean, extremely thick and sticky. However, with that being said, I find that it does stay on for a very long time because of that. And when I've worn this, I actually haven't like not enjoyed it. Like it's not my favorite thing to wear and I, I wouldn't gravitate towards this a whole lot. But for those days where I'm just doing very minimal natural makeup and I just want like a, a light lip gloss, well, not too light, but I just want something like a glossy look, then I would go for this and it will last for hours and hours because it is so thick and sticky. So these are $2.95. I just don't really like the packaging either. Like I'm kind of past this like tube application. I wouldn't say you should go out and look for these either. I just feel like they're better at the drugstore. Next up are their lipsticks and that's all it's called. It's just called lipsticks. So these are $3.95. They have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 shades. And this is in the shade 03. And looking at the bottom, you would think it'd be a really pretty like nude pinky kind of color. Nope, this is a super bright, neon, cheap looking Barbie pink. Like it looks very immature and very like stripperish. But I will say the formula is actually really nice on it. Like it's actually really creamy and very moisturizing. It just glides on. It's pretty pigmented, but this shade, like I would actually be willing to try other shades in this, but it's kind of, let's see what number three looks like in the swatch. Like when you, okay, number three, yeah. In the swatch, it looks like just your everyday, like basic, natural, just just a basic pink. Yeah, this is definitely not true to swatch. Um, but yeah, I mean the formula, I would be willing to try other shades in this. I just, I'm kind of leery because I don't trust it now. Like I don't trust what it says online and like what it says on the bottom. So kind of scared, but the formula itself is actually pretty good. So the last few things I have are brushes. And I feel like Coastal Sense does brushes extremely well. So I have the Pro Blending Fluff, which is $4.95. This is just like, this is your typical, like there's a MAC brush that looks just like this. I don't know what it is, but I do have eyeshadow on it. But it's just a more narrow fluffy brush. This is perfect for crease work, like, you know, kind of doing more intricate work in the crease or outer V work. Like this is an amazing brush and these are very durable. And then this next one is one that I requested because I was really getting into a smoked out smudgy lash line kind of look, but I kind of got tired of the struggle. So I don't get much use out of this one anymore, but this is the classic smudge sponge. This is $1.49. So this is what you see on the opposite end of most like retractable liners to smudge them out. You never use them, but they're on there anyway. But this one's just a little bit too stiff. Like I don't find that it smudges it out good enough. Like I just feel like it just kind of picks up the product and it doesn't leave you enough behind, but I wouldn't recommend that one. And then the last one I have is a liner brush. This is the classic fine liner brush, natural. This is $1.95 and this is just your typical like winged fine tip liner kind of thing and i absolutely love this one i love brushes like this for making a wing it's really tiny you can just flick it out super easily like i love using this i don't like using it for the top lash line to draw the entire line on but for a wing specifically it's actually really really good for this and i don't know if i mentioned it but this is a dollar 95 so hella worth it so that's it for this coastal sense collective review i hope you guys enjoyed it if you've tried anything from coastal sense let me know in the comments below what you've tried and what your thoughts are about it but thank you all so much for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I have a little button right down there in the corner and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.